It was Memorial Day weekend. The air was cool and crisp, the ground moist from one of the wettest springs on record. Six ungainly adventurers were about to set off on a journey of moderate difficulty and limited significance. The cast of characters was unique to say the least. Craig was a nature lover, with a particular fondness for eating ramps and young ferns. Within 24 hours, Craig would forever be known as Cock Rock. Craig's brother Tyler sported a fierce beard that grew even fiercer when paired with cool sunglasses. Bill was the muscle of the group. If any of the other hikers needed a boulder moved or a bear wrestled to the ground, Bill would promptly be called upon to complete the task. Theron was probably the most eager backpacker in the history of the pursuit. In the months leading up to the journey, if he wasn't talking about backpacking, it was only because he was taking a sip of beer. John and Callan were a father-son team with the experience of many nights in the woods at their disposal. Experience that should have, but didn't, keep them from taking wrong turns on a well-marked trail. And thus began the adventure. Day one consisted of a seven-mile journey down the Little Carp River Trail to the majestic shores of Lake Superior. Here's a look at the route. The group continued at a steady pace down the trail and came to their first water crossing. Everyone removed their shoes and socks and waded across. Surprisingly, no one fell in or dropped their shoes. After another mile or two, we stopped for lunch by the stream and relax for a bit. The group continued on, with frequent stops to observe the beauty of nature, such as this red belted polypore, or this waterfall. The Little Carp River was a companion for most of the day. The group often stopped to watch the water rush by, or in some cases, stand in the middle of it. At last, the team arrived at the lake shore. Camp was quickly set up, followed by a fire in the fire ring. This turned out to be a fantastic campsite, right next to the lake, with plenty of room and an incredible view of the sunset. The surface of the lake in the morning signaled it would be a breezy day. Tents were packed and the group was on their way. There were quite a few stream crossings on the trip, and Tyler was the only one smart enough to bring water shoes. The beauty of the terrain just didn't stop. It seemed like around every bend there was another waterfall or cascade. One of the challenges we faced on the trip 
were hordes of gnats. In this shot, you can see them buzzing around the camera and Callan. Craig didn't like the look of the riverbank, so he handed over his cell phone just in case. As a sign of things to come, you can see Craig's knees giving him some trouble as he climbs out of the river. After a while, things became quite swampy and required some fancy maneuvers to stay clean. We named this particular spot the Karate Kick. <laughs> At this point, Craig's knees were becoming a problem. Craig and Bill made the decision to take a shorter route to camp, while the rest of the group took the long way around. Here's a look at the route from day two. Things got a little swampy for a while, but then a nice climb took us to some great views. The second night, the group camped at a fantastic spot next to Mirror Lake. Notice how everyone is wearing their jackets. Obviously, it was a bit chilly but that didn't stop Theron from taking a dip in the lake. The group settled down for another relaxing evening playing cribbage, reliving the events of the day, and enjoying the peacefulness of the lake. After a quick breakfast, the group packed up their gear and headed back down the trail. The sky was cloudy and the air was cool. Although it seemed like the type of day that would see rain, the dry weather held. There was one more stream to cross, and this one would leave Theron with wet feet. The group had to deal with one more swamp, where Callan made excellent use of his previously honed karate kick skills. If you listen carefully, you can hear Theron falling into the mud. The remainder of the trip was pleasant if not uneventful. As the group walked the final steps back to the trailhead, I took a few moments to reflect on how thankful I was for a safe journey, great friends, and the wonders of nature. <laughs>